Alright, welcome to Age of Wonders 4, learning as we play, and we're still embroiled in two wars, well, one war with uh, an, an enemy that is two-pronged, our ally is currently taking care, or trying to take care anyway, of one of the vassal cities here, and they might actually have a chance. Uh, it's a long siege that they're looking at there, but that, that might turn out in their favor eventually. And we have just taken uh, this enemy vassal city over here last turn. And, well, this enemy army is just kind of sitting there in our land. And we're letting them uh, because we're not quite there yet in terms of what we can do, militarily speaking. Uh, they just went downstairs. So, now there's a big question. Are they coming for my singular units that are just sitting on his stuff? Annoying him? Or, are they indeed doing something else? Will they try and attack my ally? Now, uh, we just ac acquired this area here and we got the little octopus out of it. But we can't use it. So we're going to dismiss it as to not waste 10 mana on literally nothing. Before we leave, we're going to go explore this thing here, which should hopefully not be too dangerous. And we'll just do that and we'll auto combat ourselves through. We lost one unit with which I am okay. Not happy, but okay. Wand of blizzards, money or mana or all cities get extra stability for six turns. Um, good. Uh, Wand of Blizzards. How good are you? Level two. It's, um, it's not bad. We'll get the Wand of Blizzards. I'm mainly here so we can annex this. That's that's really that's really all we're here for. Uh, so we're going to go back into the water. And we'll want to go home, take care of this little army that's annoying us uh, at home. And yeah, these are in the city limits, so they're kind of safe there, or they should be anyway. Uh, we're not going to do anything about these until we know what they're doing. Hopefully they just go and lay siege here. That would be pretty good. And just in case they do, let's give them a whole shield unit. Cinderhold. There you go. Have that. Have these. What is supreme vassalage? Okay. Something. Could be the allegiance, but we're not going to do that. Do we have supreme vassalage with you guys? Yeah, we do. All right. Okay. Let's go back up. We could, of course, try and attack this outpost now, but he's just going to come back out and, and bash us over the head. Uh, so we're still going to do our watch and wait tactic. What we could try to do is we could surround this. So you can only send one army up. I th That should work. That could work. But it's an experiment. I don't know if it does work. And I also don't know if we have enough units to actually do that. No, I don't think we do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, that's six. So we ought... One, two, three, four, five, six. Might work, but I don't know if, if the enemies on the ground are going to count for the battle. Ah, <sighs> so many open questions there. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. Let's see. You produced battlements. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's repair some stuff. Yes, yes, I know. And we'll just end the turn here see what they do I don't know what blue is up to we don't really see much of them I ah, yeah, okay uh, they came for my unit there yeah all right fine I I get it you weren't happy with me doing that it, it is understandable to a degree you know 
I'm not I'm not agreeing with what you're doing there. But it is understandable to a degree. Alright. Someone keeps transforming stuff here, and I think it's them. I don't like it. But Ah, uh, no, not far enough. Scouts are supremely well suited to go raid because they have a really, really wide movement range. So we're just going to go raid that thing there. Now, now we can bring home our leader. Take care of this menace. Well, we can't, but they can. So we'll just take care of this menace like this. And we lost two units to that. Great stuff. Uh, but that's okay. I wanted to rearrange these anyway. Uh, which I can't right now because we don't have enough movement points. So we'll just kind of bumble around like this and leave it like that. Uh, but we can summon a new boy. So we'll put one of these units out of here. And I, th I think I think we'll put this boy out there. And we'll summon ourselves another horned god in the army that has the lowest upkeep. Uh, so we get plus 20, uh, 62 Imperium right now, 88 mana. So I think he just kind of costs what he costs. Uh, yeah. Wait a moment. Oh, the, the mana is definitely reduced, but it appears the Materium, uh, the Imperium cost. We can't do anything about Let's get the minor race transformation for the other race that's now in our Imperium. He's taking away my mountains. How dare he. Alright, we definitely want some more defenses here now. This is opening up in a way that I don't appreciate. Uh, let's get ourselves... This and maybe another Bannerman. I don't know. We'll just build a few. And leave these armies here. I mean, I'm kind of confident that, that at least the uh, armies of our troops here are going to be somewhat helpful. Let's check through. We're going to look for other units that we can build. Not summon, but build. Summon, conjure, nope. Summon, no. War breed. Yeah. That would be good. Those things are really good. Those are effective. But it's a level 4 unit, which isn't bad. A Tyrant Knight. Yeah, those are pretty decent. Let's see. Gold Golem. Problem here is there's another Mythic unit, so they cost us upkeep on... Uh, on the Imperium side. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, let's go with this. Let's go with this. Not exactly what I set out to do, but... Glorious spectacle to behold. A union of fire and earth streaming inexorably toward your enemy. Swallowing them, bringing fiery death. The landscape itself is reshaped when it flows, with beautiful scarves traced over the realm. I mean, this is this is extremely, extremely good. Uh, this is really powerful. There is the Dread Knight that we ordered, so let's bring him home. Actually, yeah, I wanted to build a Chrono Gate here. You count as what? Well, we'll just replace the quarry here. That's fine. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, we built the bathhouse. So what can we do for you now? Build this. I think so. We'll build it. Don't really have a big reason for doing it. It's just kind of... Well, it's there, isn't it? So, what could you do? Meteor strikes. 
mean, that's... Uh... Yeah, I will give him Meteor Strikes. And another hero can get... I haven't equipped you with anything yet, huh? Let's get you some stuff. Just everything that's left you get. Pretty much. It's it's not great, but there you go. Alright. Cosmic Orb. Just a better mix of attacks. Doesn't do despair, but it's still I think it's it's better. Hopefully. I don't know. All right, let's end the turn. See what our enemy does on the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Might still not be a siege in the end. Might still only that they came to take care of the raiding army that the enemy sent. So this doesn't need to mean much yet. Okay. Our friend is uh, helping there, so we'll move in and also start... I uh, will detach this. That's always fun. And we'll bring in our home unit. Uh, this is just a knight I wanted to bring in, so we'll bring them in. Put them there. Now we rearrange these armies here. Alright. So I want this one and this one out. I want the dread knight in... Well, can't can do that and now I want the healing fairy and the damage fairy in there and these two can merge all right you can see we have a whole bunch of armies now and we can we, we do have the capabilities of sustaining them but there's not gonna be all that much for us to do but actually come to a head with our enemy Oh, I wanted to get an animal, didn't I? Ah, uh, let's get you a cheap animal. I think I built the hunter spider and then I put it straight in the army. So, you get the hunter spider. We could take care of all this here, you know. Um, just <laughs> free the pastures, but we don't really need the food. So, ah, uh, I don't care enough to do it. Um, all that's required, all good. Everyone can stand where they are for now. We'll see. We'll see about it. Don't you worry. You are st ah, no, you abandoned your siege there. All right. Okay. Are you attacking or defending? Oh, no. A little bit difficult to tell. I think they are defending their territory there. Battle lost by Cinderhold. Okay, so that's not, that's not good. They are getting crushed a little bit down there. But they split their army. <sighs> Which probably is not going to help us. What we should do is... Uh, we, we already have a teleporter down there, so that's good. So in, just in case, we could immediately jump down there and be there. Uh, like I'm, I'm not liking this, but unless they actually start a siege, I'm not coming down there. For now, I want to shore up our armies, bring them together. Except for the animal friends. The animal friends, they stay to make everyone happy due to the mark of the otter thing. All right. Um, all right so it, it looks a little bit like we're wasting time here because we could do other things. But trust me. Okay, we'll capture and release this ancient wonder. So th they don't have it anymore. They will have to expand another growth to recapture it. And they also have to go and claim it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we could assault Hornwood. Pretty easily. And if we get any sort of fish creature. We're just going to send it out and start raiding the fisheries too. Uh, so these armies are just going to stay. We'll launch the animal kinship transformation. On the immortal swarmers. So they also get the cool benefits of. Getting plus crit and damage with cavalry units around. Because I'm building only cavalry units for them. So that makes a lot of sense. 
And yeah, all this stays. Free city can be integrated. Doesn't matter. We were complimented. All that doesn't matter. So I'm just right clicking it. Can we do something cool here? All units gain plus 20 morale at the start of combat where their side is defending. Yeah, that's pretty good. You have to goad the enemy to attacking you, kinda. Though, could get another city limit, which might help us. Um, let's go for this, because now growing in population costs a lot of food. Uh, so we'll just finish this out. At this point, I think it's a, it's a sensible investment to have. Oh, you can move still? Oh, <laughs> very good. Um, then, actually... I don't want to put you to sea because this thing is probably going to attack you. Um, we're not going to winning that. Going to be winning that. I don't want to attack here because they are close enough to just move up and bump me on the head. Uh, so I think you have done your duty and you can return for now and, and live to fight another day or do weird stuff as I as I instruct you. One or the other or both, maybe. Okay, so you're moving. What are you doing? It's just still kind of bumping around down there. Doing weird stuff. No one knows what. So what I could be doing... What is this? Presses opportunity. An old prospector covered in dirt hails us. He keeps a pouch close to their chest. A grimy... Uh, the prospector requests miners from Harrington to unearth a magical stone deposit. Okay. We could do that, and production is blocked, but we all get some stability for the material boon. Um, we could get Giant's Bane, which is a tier 2 lance, which isn't great. We could get a Stone Spirit unit, which eh, it's, not, it's not terrible, but it's not great. Uh, we'll just well, erect the obelisk and commemorate it, and everyone's going to be happy. All right, our armies are kind of converging. So do we assault? Do we go down here into the sea and then just swim over there? Appear out of nowhere, basically. It'll take him a while to react to it, but I don't know if we have enough power to deal with this. So we're going to use our scout. And we are going to put him to sea first. Because I want to check how strongly defended this thing is at the moment. We have... Our intel is old. Basically. So let's bring our units together around the city where they would be. You know, that's not suspicious. That's where you put your units. Into the city, right? So we'll just put them there. All into the city. Don't mind us. We're just moving our troops back home. So they can have a little nice rest around the earth. Around the hearth and the fire and all. And, you know, the good life. Have the good life. That's that's all we're doing. Don't you worry about us. Okay. We researched Lava Burst. Which I'm looking forward to using. Awaken Instincts. I mean... I'd like Meteor t uh, Arrows. Because plus 5 fire damage target adjacent units. That's just That's just kind of bonkers. That's a lot of damage. Uh, oh, yeah. More province annexation. All right. I could go here, but honestly, let's check. Now we'll annex this. This is fine. Get the silver pond. Oh, a nice, big, shiny spider. Oh, yeah. I want that at home. This has to go in our uh, magic unit upkeep army. That thing is quite strong. Let's hope it doesn't die on the way over. Uh, we can annex more stuff, and as I said, I'm going to go for a fishy. This one, over there. So now we got a turtle. Now what we're going to do with the turtle is we're going to send it south and start taking apart all those fisheries. Basically, and then we'll see what it does about it, or if he does something about it. You guys can stand there, that's fine. Uh, another province can be annexed here, let's... Again, I'm just... Uh, I don't know. Let's, uh, oh! There's an enemy army, actually. Uh, can we reach them? 
not just like that. Uh, but I think we can deal with them. Okay, let's uh, get another area here. So we get another beastie. Oh, nice thick spider up into that army. Uh, we're going low on mana supply. Uh, let's see. You can only really get fisheries. We're going to leave the forester for them because they got all the bonuses on the foresters. So you just go get yourself another fishery. And we immediately dismiss thing because we can't use it back here. And we're back to zero mana. Which is better than losing mana for sure. Can we cast something cool? Not really. We could summon a whole bunch of things, but we can't afford them at this uh, very moment. Are we... Mm, slightly? Kinda? Sorta? Some of them? Not really. Okay. War parties are being sent. Fine, fine. Let's just do another turn. Watch what he does and what she does down here. Okay, she left the border region again. As well she should. That would be a nice little attack vector if we could get there. But we can't. You can't swim over lava. Alright. More grassland is being made. Okay. Now there's a siege. Three turns. Alright. Uh, abandon everything. We are going down. We are going down. I'm just going to put all my armies there first. Just to make sure we all got enough movement to get down. Because I don't want to be caught out with half my army sitting there. That's not what we're looking for. No, I want the army. Yeah, okay. Next turn we go down. And they just keep going. Whoop, like that. And our scout can go start destroying the fishery. Yeah, okay, this isn't this isn't very well defended. I mean they got this big thing standing there, so it is defended, but it's it's not super well defended as far as city defenses go. And we want our spider. I want to bring that in. We got this quarry spider for some reason, just kind of existing there. I uh, will put it. Where do we put it? Any city still need a animal support unit? I will just put it on there and I'll be done with that. Like so. Yeah, yeah. Stone walls. That's fine. Let's build some ballista towers. Sure. And an armory. Sure. And a bathhouse later because we can afford it right now to just queue a bunch of stuff. What could we use here? Catapult towers. Beacon of Valor. 20% uh, plus 20 fortification rate. Oh, great foundry. Uh, we don't have mines. That's not really helpful, sensible or anything. A wizard tower. Honestly, we might start working on a magic victory. We got uh, a good position here where we could cluster all the things that we need. Uh, a seed of material, root of material, all that kind of stuff. Because these are pretty helpful as well, anyway. Uh, so let's just kind of go for that slowly. So we'll build it... On this quarry there later and you will build the root of materium over on that forest uh, I just want it all close so we have uh, a good e way to bunch our troops and stuff and let's build the stone walls too and the ballista tower there Let's do that. 
production in dominance needn't be set, honestly. I will build the artists and fortifications, that's fine. Overlord's Tower, maybe. Nah. Not just now. You can annex another province. Good stuff. Uh, let's just get this for another quarry. And another Spuda. We'll have to clean up those armies eventually. Alright. A treaty has expired. I don't like that. Do we have a problem? Do we need something? No. I don't think so. Alright, let's do another few turns. That is the raiding party, I would say. Coming for dominance. Um, hmm, how do we do with that? Send this army up. Do we have the do we have the teleporter yet? Yes. So we can send them around. I think we'll use both of these underground armies to d repel what they are sending up there because we don't have a hero on it. So these are relatively weak, but together they're going to be fine, I think. Okay. He, oh, good, good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, he's breaking his army a little bit apart. That's good for us. It's very good for us right now. Oh, and we got a mythic level sea creature, which costs us a ton of mana. But while we have it, we're just going to use it, I think. All right. All right. All right. Okay, let's see. So you go enter, and you can go here. I'm a little bit scared of doing all this right now, but we just need to keep our armies together. And next I want the mythical unit army, because that's our strongest one. That definitely needs to be part of the bunch. I was thinking for a second if I want to send him down because he's, he's, I don't know, invisible basically. We'll send these to the back because we don't want them. These are just kind of our reinforcement units. They're there to reinforce and nothing much else. And we'll send these down here because this I want definitely down in the army. Can both armies move far enough? Yes, they can. So we just move our armies here and fight him like that. As you can see, it's not ideal. They're going to lose a bunch. Oh, actually, we only lost a knight. I mean, only. It's, it's a strong unit to lose, but at least it was uh, just that. Can I next another province here? Okay. Work our way this way. And another creature we have to send away, sadly. Bye-bye. I'm fine with the minus 33 magic right now, mana. Uh, I'm fine with it because, well, we got a bunch saved up. So that's okay for me. That's okay. This is not okay for me, though. <laughs> uh, we sent everyone downstairs right now. So we are only gonna have to see what we do with it. Uh, captured boys stay captured. So let us end this turn. See what happens. They are sending a few units to try and take care of ours. Okay, I don't care. These are literally there to annoy you. They have no other value. None. And if you kill them, you lower my upkeep. I am happy with that. But what is he doing down here? Nothing. He's not reconstituting his troops. Okay, bold. Bold. Bold and potentially very, very stupid. 
We'll see. Let's bring in the big boy. He'll just go and fight down there eventually. Uh, let's bring in our spider. All right. Uh, now, what we want to do is put this army there. Huh? This army there. Uh, let's see which one is better. They are kind of equal-ish. All, all equal-ish. Let's send all these in there. And these can just kind of stand there. And the spider can go there now. I don't, I just want to exist here, please. And now we go boom. We'll auto combat this. Uh, we have their leader. They don't have another hero. And we'll see what the AI does of our composition there. I made a mistake, by the way, just now. I started this battle before we uh, used our unit enchantment. But we lost a phase beast and two knights. I am okay with that. It's not great, as you might imagine, but I am okay with it anyway. Uh, right, okay, let's reinforce these uh, slightly damaged armies. So a knight goes there. That's what we lost. Uh, we will also put the support unit in there. And we'll take one of our spiders into this army. Oh, we can't. Uh, can we move this spider there? No. <laughs> can we move this there? No. Okay, they, they just have to wait for uh, the next turn then. But we took out a good chunk of his army. So that's good. Now let's send these boys over here. They will just teleport all across the world because, uh, well, we want to take care of this silliness down there uh, with these boys. Or maybe even do a siege. I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. So, yeah, we took care of that. That's good. We will definitely do this enchantment now. Uh, well, no, we just researched it. We can't actually use it just now, so... Combat enchantment. Two medias impact next to random enemies when you cast this as well as at the start of your turns. Wow, okay. Last three turns. That's crazy. I want this. <laughs> uh, let's let's do this here. We want to get the meteor arrows. This costs us mana and gold and upkeep, but that's okay. We can annex a new thing. Can we? Is there anything for us to annex? I don't see anything. Uh, am I blind? No, I don't think. I don't think we have the range, and we can't take this for some reason. Hmm. Is this the right place? No, that's not the right place. This can't annex a thing. Uh, let's build a knight because we lost one. These can annex another thing. Uh, let's get the forester because these are crazy good. Ooh, a nice little spirit wolf. We'll send that up uh, to toward basically eventually joining our army. That's a good good creature. Can you move? No. Okay, we sent his leader to the Astral Void, which is very good. And I think we might just go and take the opportunity and lay siege to Harperton. Uh, we're also going to go check here and see if we can't add another siege project slot, which we're definitely going to do. And uh, we'll do this where we can... I don't know. Uh, this, this one is the next one I want. Spells cast on the first turn of combat because our meteor skill here would be amazing for that. But I think for today we'll leave it here. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, leave them downstairs. And until next time, bye-bye.